<laughs> Why was it unfortunate? Uh, what did he do? Did he punch you? He, 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 didn't, he didn't want to talk about the issue, and he, he got pretty annoyed about it. And um, you, you share a similar view to him from the interviews that I've read, and that you've said you don't think there's any link between movie violence and video games and real-life gun crime. Is that what you think, and, and if so, why? Well, I grew up, I actually grew up playing with guns. I mean, we had toy guns. We had toy guns. If Christmas was not Christmas, if I didn't get a new toy gun, a cap pistol or something. And we shot at each other. We chased each other with these guns. We did all this stuff. And none of my friends ever shot anybody. We also had real guns in my house. And I shot those too, in the woods or at cans or at birds or whatever. And we still never turned those guns on each other. We understood what guns did to a human being or what gun violence actually was. We understood it very well. Um, I don't think one thing has to do with the other. That sitting in a movie theater watching people shoot each other doesn't make people want to go out and shoot other people, not people who are not mentally unbalanced. Um, a good value system, a set of parents that tells you right from wrong, you understanding right from wrong, having a spiritual connection to your fellow man and the world lets you know what's right and what's wrong, what's morally correct and what's not morally correct. But a lot of people don't have that, do they? People. Who are they? Who are they? And those people aren't my responsibility. Don't, but don't you think part of teaching people right and wrong and what's cool and what's desirable is also in the movies? No. That the movies are influential things. I mean, Jules, your character in Pulp Fiction, is the ultimately cool bad guy, isn't he? I don't know. I guess he is to some people. To me, he's just a character. He was a guy. He had a job. He did his job a specific way. He was a professional. He was good at his job. He was not distracted when he was doing his job. That's why John Travolta got killed and I didn't because he got distracted. Um, you know, I don't, I don't deal with characters in movies in that particular way. When people say, but you're, you're a role model. Okay, I'm a role model. If you want me to be a role model, ask me. I'm a college graduate. I'm a father, a husband, a son. I'm a good person with all that. I'm a citizen. I pay my taxes. I've never been arrested. I believe in education. I believe in one's, you know, treating man the way you want man to treat you. Yeah, I'm a movie star to you. To me, I'm just a guy with an interesting job. You know, I don't want to cut in line in front of you. I don't want to, you know, lord it over you because you see me or I'm famous. I'm famous because you think I'm famous. Don't ask my characters. Don't ask Nick Fury to be your role model. Don't ask Mace Windu to be your role model. Don't ask Jules Winfield to be your role model. If you're talking about Samuel Jackson, I'm a professional. I show up at work on time. I know my lines. I hit my marks. And I treat the other actors and the crew members with respect. That's a role model. It has nothing to do with who the characters are that I play on screen. You know, the, the president has commissioned this research from the CDC into whether they think there might be some link between what kids see on the screen and how they act. If that comes up and finds that there is a recognizable link, Come on. Would, would that change your view at all? Somebody's going to find there's a recognizable link because that's what they're paid to do. Take that money and give those kids some, some, some spiritual training Everybody's against that. Everybody talks about, you know, you, you uh, can't dictate people's religion and God. All right, whatever, whatever your God is, your God is telling you to treat other people with respect. Do that. Take that money and give those kids, give them gun training if you want to, gun safety training. Or explain to them that fantasy is fantasy, reality is reality. I read books all my life. Books have violence in them, even the Bible. There's violence in all those books. It's not just movies. People need to understand parents have a responsibility. It's not the government's responsibility to make people better people. It's your parents' responsibility to make you a better person. You revealed recently that you've had a stutter. Um, have a stutter. Have a stutter, still. Yeah. I guess when I'm doing characters, my characters don't stutter, so I don't have to worry about them. Uh, and it was funny, because uh, when I was talking about it last week, I realized that I actually started to pretend to be people who didn't stutter when I was very young so that I wouldn't stutter. That, that seemed to be the thing that would work for me, that I had to go back and stop and say, well, where am I in the midst of all that? You know, How many people have I created to cover this thing 
to the point that maybe I've gotten lost in who I am, and I don't know. So do you still have days when you're on set where you're no, still? Oh yeah, yeah. I have I have days, or you know, some days it's B, some days it's P, some days it's G, and it all depends, you know. And I think probably the the worst one for me are sentences that begin with W. Uh, I have W days a lot, so when I'm so when the first thing I have to say is what, when, why, or whatever, uh, depending upon the level of intensity and where we're trying to go, uh, I'll get caught up with woo -woo -woo, and it just gets me, and I'll start trying to do that Porky Pig thing, thinking of an alternate word, but there aren't a lot of alternate words for why. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, thank you very much indeed for joining us.